Today, I will be showing you the two settings that I change with almost every game on the Steam Deck in order to maximize battery life. These are built directly into Steam OS, so there's no need to install any mods or enable any hidden developer options to find them. Go ahead and go into any game that you have installed. And then from here, we're going to press on the three dot ellipsis button on the right side of the Steam Deck. Make sure that the performance tab is selected so that you can see these features here. And while you don't have to set the performance overlay to this level, it can help to visualize what we're doing here. At the very least though, enable it to level one so that you can monitor the changes that you're making. Now, while we're playing this game with the default settings, you can see that we're running at 90 frames per second. This results in the Steam Deck using about 12 to 13 watts. And depending on what we're doing in the game, you could see this wattage usage go up or down a little bit. The more watts the Steam Deck uses, the quicker our battery will be depleted. So the first thing that I recommend you do is open up the Quick Settings menu, go to the Performance tab, and then enable the Per Game Profile toggle. This will make it so that anything you change in the Performance tab will only be applied to this specific game. That way, the changes that we're making here aren't going to be applied to a game like Baldur's Gate 3, or even that retro game that you have loaded up in an emulator. What we change here will only be applied to this game that we have open. And the first thing that we're going to change is limiting the frame rate. So you can see we have a frame rate limit here. And when we tap in here, we can adjust this number. Now, I'm not going to tell you that 30 frames per second is good enough in this game or any game. That is entirely a personal preference, and that will not be debated here today. But what I will recommend is that you adjust this slider to a frame rate that you are comfortable with. If you feel that a game like this can be played just fine at 30 frames per second, then that's what you should set this to. If you're comfortable with the game running at 60 FPS, then that is what you should set it to. Or, if you want all of your games to run at or close to 90 frames per second because you bought the OLED Steam Deck and you want to utilize the hardware you paid for, then that is your right to do so. Either way, you should set this slider to a performance level that you are happy with. In a strategy game like this, I'm perfectly happy with changing this to something like 30 frames per second. Maybe I also want to gain a little bit more fluidity to the animation, so bumping this up to 45 or 60 frames per second is perfectly reasonable. Just realize that the lower you can set this number, the more playtime that you'll be able to get out of the battery. So in this demonstration, I'm going to be setting this to 30 frames per second. And with the frame rate limited, we will then begin scrolling down this performance tab a little more until you see the allow TDP limit toggle. This should be disabled by default, but we can turn it on and immediately begin limiting the amount of power the Steam Deck will use. Unless you are overclocked or Valve has updated SteamOS, you are likely to see this number capped at 15 watts when it is off the charger. 
and you saw that the game was running at around 12 to 13 watts when it was left to its own accord at 90 frames per second. So now that the frame rate has been limited, we can begin to inch the TDP limit back one watt at a time. So once that TDP limit number has changed, go back into the game and play. Keep an eye on the FPS counter at the top left and feel the game out to see if you notice any lag or stuttering. Or if you begin to see that FPS counter drop to under 30 frames per second or whatever number you set that frame rate to. If you find that it's running quite smoothly here, we're gonna go back into the performance tab, go back to this TDP limit slider and drop it down again. Make that change and go back. Also, if you have the performance overlay set to number three, level three, then you're gonna see your wattage usage in the top right. So we're using at about nine watts right now. That means we should be able to go in here and change this to at least 10 and see zero performance issues with our 30 frames per second target. You will know that you have dropped the TDP limit slider too low when you begin to notice lag or see your FPS numbers drop to lower than you set it to manually. You're likely going to be doing this testing in a calm and quiet area of the game. So when you find your lowest TDP limit that the game will allow, it may be a good idea to bring that up one or two watts higher just so that there's a bit more headroom. But with that said, you may be happy with the second or two of lag here and there if it means that you can keep the wattage down during the majority of the game. Remember, this is something you are able to customize to your own enjoyment level, so there's no need to follow a guide for each game when adjusting a setting like this. You know what FPS numbers you are happy with, and with these features that I showed you here today, you will be able to lower the TDP limit to something you're happy with.